Well, good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. It is about 7.20 a.m. here on uh, Friday morning, uh, Eastern Time, 6.20 uh, Central Time. And uh, we've got a beautiful day shaping up today. We'll talk about that. Uh, it looks like the next... Uh, period of uh, days that we're going to enter in though is going to be sort of a roller coaster ride again on temperatures. I know that's not what we want to hear. March we know is a transition month and uh, going from going from uh, uh, winter to spring and uh, it's going to feel like a transition month. It's going to be up and down. We'll talk about that more here in a second. Today's video update being sponsored by High Voltage Mobile DJ Service. You can give Nathan a call at 630-9465 or visit him on the web at djhighvoltage.com. We're also sponsored today by Metal Magic. Call Chad at 698-8555 for all of your hail damage needs this spring and your paintless dent repair, your uh, detailing and chrome accessories. Make sure to tell uh, Chad and Nathan there that Southern Indiana Weather sent you. All right. Not too bad outside. We got satellite and temperatures overlaid here. And mostly clear skies out there right now. We got a few high clouds uh, out to our west. Those will start to funnel in. I think we have a pretty partly cloudy day. Temperatures in the low to mid 40s. Most of the area right now. That's going to be an absolutely gorgeous day. In fact, if we just take a look at your Eubelor and Suns. Plan your day forecast for day. I just posted this to Facebook a few moments ago. But forecasting 65 roughly for a high today under partly cloudy skies. You can't beat that. And as I said, it's going to be a roller coaster ride because we get just absolutely beautiful weather today, the kind of weather that makes you want to skip work and, you know, go outside and, and just be outdoors for a while, do yard work or whatever, because it's going to be so beautiful today. Uh, tomorrow is going to be another one of those days where it's reasonably nice. And then on Sunday, um, I'll tell you what, um, I, I hate to even mention the S word. Because I've been told it's a dirty four-letter word, the snow word, but it is in the forecast again, potentially for Sunday. Let me take you through that. All right, let's go to future radar and just start out here. All right, let's take it through today. Here's Friday during the day, and you know, again, you see these real light shades uh, are the just kind of drizzle type of thing. So yes, it is possible that later tonight we have just a touch of drizzle here and there in patches. I don't think it's very aggressive. The higher resolution models may take it a little bit more than what the NAM is taking it here, but not very much. I, I, I think I've only given it, a, I don't even know if I put it in the forecast. It, it's, I don't expect it to be much of anything. Be very isolated if we get it. But then the real story comes tomorrow. As we go through on Saturday, you see we stay mostly dry for the first part of Saturday. Later in the evening, you start to see this rain shield move to our west, and here we are on Saturday night into Sunday morning. 2 a.m. it's knocking on our door and then you see the heavier rain starts to overtake us here's by 7 a.m. on set well 8 a.m. now on Sunday morning uh, <coughs> this time change has gotten to all of us here and I'm um, used to used to looking at 12z and saying 7 a.m. on the models but it's 8 a.m. now all right we move through the day notice what's starting to mix into the north bad day shaping up for uh, those up uh, uh, for some of us with some sleet and snow uh, mixing in it doesn't show blue up here but this would be snow the 32 degree line is well south of us with this blue line here well south of this area here we are in southern indiana this is really so, uh, kind of cutting through uh, the bloomington area Terre Haute, and then columbus and back so uh, but then watch how this 32 degree line falls during the day you start to see that uh, the radar understand that oh we need to start changing the colors over and it and eventually changes it over and gets everything right 32 degree line falls south through the day here we are by 8 p.m on sunday night and you've got potentially maybe a little bit of sleet changing over some pretty heavy snow for some of us up in here if the nam has this right and then of course it comes through before moving out so some of us would get some pretty significant snowfalls with this out of the nam i think the nam oftentimes has a habit of uh, going qpf crazy is what we call it QPF is just uh, the word quantity precipitation forecast. It's just the, the amount of liquid precipitation that we can get out of a storm. And sometimes the NAM just goes crazy with its, its amounts, and I think that's what it's doing here. I'm not buying that solution of heavy, heavy snow. Do I think we end up with a little bit of snow on the backside of the system? Yes, and I'll show you what the models say here in a second. Um, but I don't think it's going to be heavy like what the NAM is saying. Here's what the GFS is saying. We're just taking a look at the... Uh, the surface chart here's that weak cold front moving through today bigger story about today by the way besides the temperatures will be the winds i'm expecting south southwest winds uh, at times 
uh, gusting up to 30, 35 miles per hour, even more, 10 to 20 mile per hour or more sustained during the afternoon. There's no wind advisory out, but it's going to be a breezy day, so keep that in mind. Cold front's pretty weak, so it's going to be mostly dry, um, <coughs> maybe an isolated sprinkle or two, and that's going to be about it, folks. And then as this moves out, watch this next system develop to our south. It's a strengthening low pressure system, and then it starts to weaken again. It's not a very strong one. You see, it started to strengthen, went from 1,000 to 999. Now it's down to 1,001. It doesn't know what it wants to do. Stays well to our south, though, and that, that kind of allows the colder air to filter in more towards the north. Here's the rain-snow changeover line. Approximately, it's the 540 line, but here we are in March. The 540 line may not be the rain-snow changeover line. Truly, for us, not until you start to get some of the next blue lines down over you to guarantee it um, because of we are in that transitionary month. But you can see... A little bit of it moves over us potentially as it goes through, but the GFS isn't overly aggressive with it. All right. Let me show you what the NAM says about the snow. And as I said, the NAM has went QPF crazy with this. I am not buying this solution at all that we're going to see this many inches of snow. I mean, this is protecting anywhere from the, remember the first blue shade start at two inches here, all the way up to, you know, maybe a foot of snow or even close to it in some of these really bright, bright shades up here. I don't buy that out of this system at all, especially whenever I show you, here's what the GFS says, okay? The GFS takes us uh, along the Ohio River here in a couple of counties on either side, maybe a one to two inch swath, lesser amounts as you go away from that, all right? The Canadian, very similar to the NAM, but you don't get two inches until you get past Louisville up in this area. It's a dusting to one inch for most of us. Euro snow model is a little bit more uh, than what the others are. We're saying maybe two and a half inches for some of us. Probably a two to four inch swath along the Ohio River with lesser amounts to the north and the south there. So then you get to the NAM and you're like, there's just no way. <laughs> I don't see this verifying. We'll keep an eye on it and see whether this is a trend and, and whether some of the other models go this way. But I think it's just going crazy right now. So unfortunately, the future radar that we have that we can really show you at this point belongs to the NAM. And so it's the one that's going QPF crazy. So just understand on the future radar that it may change us over to snow way quicker than it actually does. And it shows heavier amounts of snow on future radar than what it will likely be. But I think a dusting to two inches is possible on Sunday night at this point. And uh, we'll, we'll sort of go from there at this. We'll go from there. I guess that's about all we can say. We'll fine tune those details as we get a little bit closer. Okay. Let's go to southernindianaweather.com and uh, click on seven-day forecast sponsored by Eubelor and Sons here. Again, absolutely gorgeous day shaping up for us, folks. 65 for the high today. Very breezy at times. Southwest 10 to 25 mile per hour sustained. Won't be surprised to see some gusts up to 30, maybe even 40 at times today. Very windy with that strong cold, with that strong temperate pressure gradient moving through. It's going to be very breezy. Very weak cold front. So again, a 10% chance of any precipitation. Didn't even mention in the description, just gave it a 10% chance of precip. Again, it's going to be very isolated if anything happens. <coughs> Excuse me. Down to 39 for the low tonight, 56 for the high tomorrow. Partly cloudy and warm, very slight chance of rain. But again, it's later in the day. I showed you the Euro model and, and the future radar. Excuse me, the GFS and the future radar. And uh, both of those don't really take much of anything in until after midnight on Saturday night into Sunday morning. However... Uh, some of the other models do take it a little bit earlier, so it's mentioned in here. We'll see what it does, but again, I think most of Saturday, and probably most all of Saturday for that matter, will be precipitation-free. And 56, that's not bad at all, all right? Then Sunday, the real mess comes. We only go up to a high of 44 on Sunday, mainly cloudy with a chance of light rain, but then later in the evening, it'll change to some snow showers. Light accumulations with a question mark. Again, a dusting to an inch or two is what I'm thinking at this point, but I don't really want to find... Uh, but I don't really want to put an official amount with it yet until I see some better data and we fine-tune those details. I don't think that we're looking at multiple inches of snow like what the NAM says, but we will keep an eye on it and continue to post. And then only up to 44 on Monday, 56 and 57 Tuesday and Wednesday. Some showers possible again next week, but very small chances, not a washout by any means. 56 is our normal high, so it's going to be nice to be able to go back to that. But you notice a roller coaster ride, you go... Way above normal today to near normal tomorrow, well below normal, well below normal, then back up to near normal, up, down, up, down, up, down. Unfortunately, folks, I don't have time to take you through all the rest of some of the data that I could show you, but it looks like to me this roller coaster ride is going to continue well on into March. All right. Now, tomorrow I will have a longer one of these details. We'll look at more of the long range as well as our snow chances as well. 
But tomorrow we'll take a look more at the long range pattern. I'll show you those ups and downs a little bit more in depth than what I'm going in here today. All right. That is it for this morning's video. Go outside and enjoy this absolutely gorgeous day, folks. Uh, we deserve it after the rough winter that we've had. By the way, this is the ninth coldest winter Indiana has ever seen on record since we've been recording it. So, burr, 20th for Kentucky. It was, it was very cold around our region, and now we have the numbers to verify it. All right, folks, that's it for today. For Southern Indiana Weather, I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. Have a great day, and we will see you later.